my vision has gone black. I have temporarily lost the vision in my eye. What am I describing? Well, this could be Amorosis fujax. Please do stay tuned to learn more about this quite scary condition. Amorosis fujax is basically when the blood supply to the eye is temporarily cut off. Classically, this is due to an emboli, usually a cholesterol emboli, that temporarily gets stuck in the artery that supplies the eye, and as a consequence of this, the vision is temporarily lost. The worrying aspect and feature of this condition is the fact that if these clots are within the circulation, then A, where are they coming from, and B, are there more, and if so, then this poses a greater risk to one's health, whereby an individual may be at risk of not only heart attacks and strokes, but clots in one's legs. Amaurosis fujax type symptoms come very quickly and go as quickly as they come, usually last in seconds. Some patients describe a complete blackout of their vision, others describe a shutter-like appearance come in before their eye. When one presents for an eye assessment, the clot may or may not be seen inside the back of one's eye. If a patient is experiencing such symptoms, then it is apparent that they need a thorough, urgent medical workup. This will include blood tests, ECGs, a ultrasound scan of the neck of the carotid artery, and a careful assessment and review by a medical physician. An episode of Amaurosis fujax essentially serves as a warning shot that there is a potential dysfunction in one's cardiovascular system. Therefore, all of the risk factors that can contribute to cardiovascular disease need to be reviewed, analysed and gotten control of. For example, stopping smoking, controlling blood pressure, controlling and treating diabetes, and modifying one's lifestyle. Patients will also classically be started on a blood thinner such as aspirin to reduce the risk of these clots. As mentioned, lifestyle modification is very important in the management of cardiovascular disease. So stopping smoking, reducing alcohol consumption to acceptable amounts and recommended amounts, exercising daily, managing stress, eating a balanced, healthy diet, and taking medications where or when needed will all help to manage cardiovascular disease and modify risk factors. It goes without saying, if you have experienced amaurosis fujax like symptoms, you will be, as I mentioned earlier, reviewed by a medical physician, and this will be in a stroke slash TIA clinic. TIA which stands for transient ischemic attack, which some patients refer to as a mini stroke. Thank you for watching this short video about Amaurosis fujax. I hope you have learned about what Amaurosis fujax is, how it can be a potential warning sign of very significant underlying medical disease that needs to be controlled and managed. If you have found this video useful, then please do click the like button, click the um, subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with my latest videos. Please do also comment and share your stories as ever and I look forward to hearing from you. Where possible I will endeavour to respond to your comments but please do bear in mind under the rules of the General Medical Council and in the purposes and interests of being ethical I cannot respond to direct medical questions about an individual's care. This is wholly inappropriate and unethical, so I hope you understand. This channel is more about education and raising awareness, and that is my sole purpose. So if you do have individual, personal questions relating to your own medical conditions, then the best practice would be to speak to your own medical practitioner or eye care professional who is aware of your history and your examination, and is in the best 
position to guide you appropriately. They will not only be able to guide you appropriately, they will be able to provide you with accurate, safe advice, which is tailored to you and your needs. Thank you so much as ever. Take care.